बिस्मिलकुम कैसे हो आप लोग वेलकम टू रिएक्शन चैनल मैं हूँ देवाशीष और ये है ओपन तो हम काफ़ी दिनों से बयान पे सुनते आ रहे और और हमारे एक फेवरेट डॉक्टर जाकिर नायक का वीडियो लाया है तो इनको एक लेडी मतलब ये आई थिंक रिवर्ट मुस्लिम ही है पर वो अपने फादर जो जिनकी डेथ हो गई है तो उन्होंने शिरक किया था तो इसलिए डेथ हो गई है तो उनके लिए शायद मतलब ये बोलने की कोशिश कर रहे कि वो मतलब अल्लाह से वो कौन सी दुआ करे कि वो मतलब ठीक हो तो मतलब हम अब चलते हैं वीडियो की तरफ Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maria Riam Sharif. I am from Ireland and a physical therapist by profession. Alhamdulillah, I got a chance to be accept Islam. But my question is, my father never got the chance, and shirk is the biggest sin. And I want to know if there is a specific. do a or something i can read on his name so that his sin will be forgiven sister has a question that alhamdulillah she has accepted islam and she says that unfortunately her father he died as a mushrik so can i read any dua anything in his name so that sin can be forgiven सिस्टर ऑफ कुरान सेज इन सूर निसा चैप नंबर फोर वस्त नंबर फोर्टी एट सूर निसा चैप नंबर फोर वस्त नंबर हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन दैट इफ अल्लाह प्लीज इज ही मे फॉर गिव एनी सिन बट द सिन ऑफ शिरक ही विल नेवर फॉर गिव बिकॉज अ पर्सन हुर दन शिरक हैज कमिटेड द मोस्ट हिनियस सिन सो इफ द पर्सन इज डूइंग शिरक एंड बिफोर ही डाइज इफ ही रिपेंट इन शो अल्लाह अल्लाह विल फॉर गिव बट इफ ही डाइज एज अ मुशरक ही इज डिस्टाइन फॉर हेल्थ देर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन and this is also narrated in the quran when ibrahim alayhi salam prophet ibrahim when he prays for his father who was a mushrik then a verse was revealed that when the person is alive you can ask allah to give hidayah to your parents to your father to your mother to your brother may allah guide them to the straight path but if they die as a mushrik and if you know that as a mushrik you cannot pray for them you can only pray that oh my god oh my lord allah make from my offsprings muslims who will submit their will to allah and this is the dua of ibrahim alayhi salam his father also was a mushrik by the dua in surah ibrahim chapter number 14 the last few verses he prays that make my offsprings those who would submit their will to allah who will be muslims and we find that both his children ismail alayhi salam and isaq alayhi salam both of them became messengers of allah subhanahu wa taala so what i request to you sister you make a dua to allah subhanahu wa taala that may your offsprings be the ones who will submit their will to allah and be on the straight path hope that answers question jazakallah yes brother assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is talha nusrat and i am a student before starting sir first of all i would like to thank you because uh, are there any the non muslims are there any the non muslim like to ask a question the most welcome to come on the microphone any non muslim like to ask a question whether from the gents or from the sisters this is the opportunity any questions on the topic women rights in islam or any questions on islam and compared to religion this is the opportunity any non muslim like to ask a question the most welcome if not we allow the muslims but in between if they feel they can come on the microphone and they can jump the queue that the progressive yes brother yeah first of all sir i would like to thank you because uh, uh, i have become a better human being and not only a better human being but a better muslim because of you and undoubtedly it is allah who provides the heat but for me you were the source of that heat and my question is that uh, I have read in glorious Quran that in previous time during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam men were allowed to keep female slaves and uh, they were allowed to have that uh, intimate relationships with them without the nikah and the offsprings were also considered to be legitimate so i mean wasn't it a any kind of degradation of the honor of the women 
and uh, were women allowed to do that or this uh, privilege was only confined to men? Brother asked the question that at the time of the Prophet, there were women who were slave women and you were allowed to have sex with them even without marrying. So why was it allowed? What is the privilege? And is the wife was permitted not? There are many verses in the Quran we say that you can have sex with whom those are who are wife and what your right hand possesses. Right hand possesses means they are the slaves. And at the time of the Prophet, the wars used to take place. And when wars used to take place, they were captives. When they were captives from both the sides, the men and the women, they became slaves. Though if you analyze the verses in the Quran, which also says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 25, if you do not have the means to get married, then marry a slave woman and give her freedom in maher. That if you don't have the means to get married. So marry a slave woman and give her her freedom as maher. So here it's encouraging that... Although the slavery has been the, abolished, Brother, you asked a question. The question is over. It is correlated, actually. You cannot go anywhere. You have to go behind the queue to correlate. You asked the question. We heard your question. It was long. If we start correlating always, non-Muslims are allowed. Muslims? You can go behind the queue. No problem. If we start correlating, we'll be able to handle very few questions. For non muslim I'm a bit lonely lean. So now the thing is that, so it's preferable to marry. Vice versa, it's not possible. It is only for the female women slaves that the man can have sex. The Quran doesn't say the vice versa. And this again, if you analyze, that if you see, at that time promiscuity was very common. Promiscuity and having sex outside the bond very common. So Islam has bought it in stages. Like as alcohol was very common, the first verse of the Quran of Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 219 says, that in alcohol, there is profit and loss. Loss is more than profit. The next verse was revealed in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 43, that do not pray with your mind before. Means when you're praying, don't have intoxicants. Finally, the ban came in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse number 90, that alcohol is banned. So here, first, Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, prohibits any other sex. Only two people allowed. Your wives and that which your right hand possesses. Now, in this age, we don't have, you know, any walls. It may take place. People say that the Quran talks about slavery. Is it justified? I said, yes, why not? You know why? Because today we know that internationally slavery has been banned. But do you know what's happening in Guantanamo Bay? Due to the laws of UN resolution, how they treat the prisoners of war, if you compare that with the Islamic law, Islamic law is far superior to what's happening in Guantanamo Bay. And after a few days, we have a speaker coming by the name of James E. He's a Chinese. And he was put in Guantanamo Bay. He will give you a story. So do attend the talk. So if you see what is done in Guantanamo Bay, and the way the prisoners of war are ill-treated, you know, they're imprisoned. In the Islamic law, the slave is free to move around. Imagine, prisoner of war, but free to move around. Great. Major thing, you're giving them a place to walk. They can go to the market. They cannot run away. But if they run, what are you going to do? You'll have to catch up with them. But imagine a prisoner of war is not chained. In the normal prisoner of war, you have prison camps with electric wires. They can't go out. All sorts of nonsense goes there, you know? All sorts of sexual abuse goes there. Do you know that? What nonsense goes? So, the Islamic law, even if I agree, how they treat the slave is far superior than the UN Charter. Far superior than Guantanamo Bay. But in Islam, Islam disagrees with having sex outside the marital bonds. So just as restriction, it was permitted that time, what your right in possesses. But preferable is, as it goes further, that give their freedom in mahr and have sex with them, that's preferable. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. Yes, brother. Uh, my name is Anand. By profession, I am an interior designer. I want to ask, can a Muslim girl marry a non-Muslim boy? The brother asked the question that, can a Muslim girl marry a non-Muslim boy? 
as I said that a Muslim boy cannot marry a non-Muslim girl until she believes the same verse I quoted Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 221 says do not marry a non-believing woman until she believes a believing woman who's a bond woman is far superior to a non-believing woman even if she allows you the same verse continues do not marry a non-believing man a mushrik man until he believes a believing man even if he's a slave man a bondsman is far superior to a mushrik man an unbelieving man even if he allows you he may be the most handsome man in the world he may be the wealthiest man in the world but the believing man is far superior than unbelieving man so even the vice versa is the same that a muslim woman cannot marry a non-muslim man until he believes once he accepts islam then very well she can marry him the same example of a car that all the four tires should be same, one of a bicycle and the other of a truck, it will not work. Because the life partners, if you really love your wife, you'd want her to go to Jannah. If the Muslim woman loves the husband, she would want the husband to go to Jannah. This life is temporary. So imagine you marry someone and you know that spouse is going to go to hell. So what's the use? So first you get confirmation that he becomes the Muslim. He agrees there's one God and the final messenger is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then there are chances that both will have the best of this world and the hereafter. Hope that answers the question. So this was a video. I think three videos were. Three questions were. So we will talk about that the Maryam was talking about that her father died. She was raped. She was raped. So अल्लाह से क्या वो दुआ मांगे कि वो पीस में आ जाए तो डॉक्टर जाके ना कि यही बताए और वो जिंदा है और शिर्क कर रहे के माफी मांग रहे हैं तो माफी मिल जाएगी लेकिन शिर्क करते हुए मरे हैं हाँ शिर्क करते हुए मरे हैं तो फिर आफ्टर डेथ वो माफी कोई काम के नहीं होती कि वो फिर जहन्नुम तो है ही लिखा ह क्लियर इन्होंने बताया कि कुरान में यही लिखा हुआ है कि आपको जो भी है आपकी एक लाइफ ही नहीं गई है आपको इसी में ही आपको कुरान फॉलो करना है और आपको माफी की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी तो दूसरा एक सवाल किया था वो आप वीडियो में देख लेना और तीसरा जो सवाल किया था वो ये था कि एक मुस्लिम गर्ल नॉन निकाह कर सकती है या नहीं तो उसका जवाब ये था कि जब तक लड़का मुस्लिम एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर ले मुस्लिम बन जाए मतलब वो लड़के को दोनों को मुस्लिम बनना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि वो बोल एग्जांपल दे रहे थे कि ट्रक का टायर होता है वो चारों एक बराबर जैसे होते हैं तो वो पीछे के दो टायर अलग होंगे आग मुस्लिम है और नॉन मुस्लिम से शादी करनी है तो वो लड़की को मुस्लिम इस्लाम को बुल करना पड़ेगा। सही बात। तो मतलब वही बता रहे कि एक जहन्नुम में मतलब एक जन्नत में जाएगा, जहन्नुम में जाएगा ये तो आप नहीं चाहते हो ना? तो आपको बैलेंस रखना होता है लाइफ में तो ही आप आगे बढ़ सकते हो तो इसलिए कि आपको दोनों को मुस्लिम बनना होगा तो ये था हमारा वीडियो आज का डॉक्टर जाकिर नायक का तो मिलते हैं हम अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए लाइक सब्सक्राइब और शेयर करते रहना और बेल आइकन दबाना लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन मिले हमारे वीडियोस देखने अल्लाह अल्लाह फिर कुदा फेस शुक्रान